And welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Endure Undying. This deck's similar to the Endure Spiders deck that I also think is pretty good. But instead of going with the Spiders, we are going with the Undying and just the, um, the really good anti-control package that the Undying brings and pairing that with Chronicler of Ruin and Ethereal Remitter. And uh, since we get to play all sorts of Shadow Isle cards, which is what we're mostly doing, we also have uh, Mist Wraith and Wraith Caller in here. So you know, we just have like some bigger, um, bigger threats than just like regular spiders. But you know, we're all we're trying to do is just play a whole bunch of threats, keep on attacking, um, make our opponent answer those threats, and um, you know, even though we'll have a bunch of things die. That's okay, because then in the late game, boom, we have They Who Endure, um, which is going to be hopefully pretty big, because we'll have a bunch of things die. Um, we also get like some really good champions here. You know, we're playing Thresh and Callista. So basically, instead of playing Elise, we're playing Callista. And I've just been really impressed with Callista um, ever since the update. She levels up pretty easily, is difficult to kill, and then after leveling up, uh, this part is just really awesome. So, you know, pairing that with Rekindler, uh, Callista Rekindler is a nice combo. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a pretty solid deck here. So let's let's go. Let's go ahead and play some um, Endure Undying. If you like, if you like attacking um, and playing big creatures, and also having good card advantage, and also um having threats that are really difficult to kill this deck has all of those put together it doesn't it doesn't interact real well like we're not really stopping our opponent what they're doing real well we have a few interaction cards but all right so we're playing the championless undying deck so similar deck but um, I like how we don't have Undyings here, like, you know, all, all of these things can block. If their goal is, like, playing Undyings, those can't block. What I don't want to see is I don't want them to have, um, I don't want them to have the 2-drop. Um, Cursed Keeper. I don't want to see Cursed Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher. That's what I don't want to see. I want them to have Undying and not Cursed Keeper. So that's bad. Well, they didn't play Ravenous Butcher last turn. But they likely have Chronicler of Ruin. Wraith Caller is good. Ooh, Ancient Crocolith? Wow. That's really bad. That's really bad for me. The good news is we have Callista. And if they want to attack out, we can just block, have everything block, level up our Callista, and now Callista attacks and puts in Wraith Caller. Okay. 
I think I'm going to keep them from drawing two cards. Even though it takes up my turn. Okay, well. But yeah, Callista plus Wraithcaller looks really nice. Callista just, is just good. These Shadow Owls cards are all pretty good. I guess if I didn't play that Withering Will, I could have Chronicler of Ruined and killed my Ephemeral thing and brought it back. Hmm, I probably should have done that. Probably should have done that. I feel like I'm not taking the best lines. So my plan here was to black spear the Crocolith so they don't kill my Callista, but honestly I should probably just let the Callista die so then I can rekindle her back. Um, or if not, I probably should just just Chronicler of Ruined and killed my Callista so that then I'd have a dead Callista to be able to bring back and I would still black spear and I'd still do this instead of killing my Mistraith. Oh well. This this should still work out just fine. Like if they don't kill Callista, they lose. If they do kill Callista, I rekindle her. Mistrates are big. I want to have a blocker for that undying with this little 1 1 that I then sacrificed a glimpse beyond. Basically, get to clear up all these other spiders. Alright. I don't draw two. But we're still good. Champion, better, Bando champion. That was a pretty impressive game. Oh, we fought through, uh, you know, turn two, Cursed Keeper, turn three, Cursed Keeper, turn four, Crocolith, and, you know, getting a 7-7 seven, seven and two four fours. That's pretty impressive. So how's everybody weekend going? More Ez Karma. Well, 
But we're going to be able to, you know, have like, you know, a threat here that just doesn't die. And now two of them with the Chronicler undying. It's basically, can my opponent combo kill me with Ezreal? And honestly, maybe I should just keep the Vengeance because that, that stops. Eh, slows down. It's probably mo more accurate. Slows down the combo kill. What you looking for? All right, pickpocket's pretty great against me. That's pretty great. Check out the goods on this one. Sharing is sharing. <laughs> so do I need to chronicler the cursed keeper? I guess so. So I have two blockers for pickpocket. I do have a second on dying in hand. So I have seven different spells. that they could hit with the pickpocket. So Vile Feast, Glimpse Beyond, Grasp, Withering Whale, Atrocity, Vengeance, and Ruination. Uh, I just want them to, to take a while leveling up Ezreal, so I don't like Static Shocks. Glimpse Beyond, like these Glimpse Beyonds can be good. Does make it more difficult to level up Ezreal if we have Glimpse Beyond. The problem is they're not going to target any of these with the Mystic Shot. Gotcha. Yep, they're targeting me. <clears throat> but that does mean they're not leveling up as as fast. Much rather played Wraith Caller last turn. Damn, they do it to endure. Very rig. So 
So do I play Mist Wraith or File Feast the Jury Rig? I guess it's File Feast. Keep them from being able to block my Wraith Caller. I wish I could play Ruination this turn. I can Withering Whale and kill Karma. But then I'm looking at three mana. May not work. Okay, it works. We have one karma out of here. Wonder if there's any chance for ruination resolves. There's any chance. This would be a great ruination, though. You name it, I'll make it. So, like, do I even try, or do I just, you know, ethereal remitter? And just go that route. Let me just ethereal remitter and go this route. How do I always get Troop of Elnux? Y'all that watch me play this know that I always, always get Troop of Elnux. And it's the worst card you can hit, and I always get it. Cool, yeah, you thought the meta and stuff better? Alright, just that got a message got a response. <clears throat> okay. Um so I'm getting the undying back. We don't need to play anything else.
I just always get Troop of Elnux. There's like a so many good five drops to hit. That's the actual worst one. I should have played the Undying first. Maybe it's not worth playing the Undying though. Alright, I gotta hope they don't have another Ezreal. Please, no more Ezreal. If they don't have another Ezreal, we'll likely win. If they do have another Ezreal, we'll likely lose. Like, that's that's basically the game right now. It's just, if they play Ezreal here, we lose. If they don't, we likely win. It's basically the entire game. So they just discarded another Will of Ionia. They've already played one. I don't know how many Will of Ionias they're playing, but it's probably not that many. I mean, it, it could. I mean, obviously, it can't be three. All right. Well, we could. We could maybe just be dead here. Uh, anyway, because the puff cap. So I think that game would actually really, I think the the decision that, the decision that I made in that game that, that really cost me that game was the mulligan decision. I mulliganed away both Atrocity and Vengeance, because, um, you know, we don't really have threats, but as you saw, all we did was just draw units, and that's all we had in hand. We just had such a, a complete abundance of units, and we didn't have, like, those, you know, one or two key spells to, to um you know, turn the tides and win the game, like, you know, an atrocity or a vengeance. I feel like if I would have just kept the atrocity, kept the vengeance, even though I didn't need them right away and just say, hey, like, I'm going to need these later. You know, I need that vengeance to kill the Ezreal. I need, you know, we could have done that a lot earlier. I need the atrocity uh, to get extra damage in. So I think I was too focused on the early game with my mulligan decision in that aspect. Um, whoa, big raid here. What's up, everybody from Saucy Mailman Stream? Hey, Saucy. What were you playing today? What were y'all playing? Going pretty good. Going pretty good. Saturday night. We're kind of just running back some some old favorites, you know, since uh, we're going to have a new set here in a few days. Love it! Barkeep Pursuit of Perfection. Love it! Were you playing my list by chance, or, or did you make your own list with that? Because, you know, I had that one on Monday, the Catastrophe deck, that I absolutely love. I love that deck. I don't really know necessarily why I kept Glimpse Beyond. Oh, I should have mulliganed Glimpse Beyond. I haven't seen mine? Okay. Um, here we go. 
I will get you the YouTube link. We actually went 5-0 with it. Meme, meme tier Monday. Yeah, we <laughs> went 5-0. <laughs> that deck. Oh, that was awesome. Then we played it again and didn't do nearly as good the second time, but still can't take away that 5-0. I'm gonna block here. It, so like, it opens me up to Vile Feast, but now they can't block my Wraith Caller with that thing. We'll see if that's worth it or not. Yeah. It's a good Chronicler of Ruin. Really should not have kept that glimpse beyond. It has not looked like a very good keep with me drawing up more and more glimpse beyonds. Dang. Maybe I just shouldn't have attacked with my 4 3. There are some fearsome five twos. Sacrifice for a Britain. Doesn't look so good. This one will do. Eyes open. I wouldn't mind if they like played removal on my stuff so I could actually get good use of these glimpse beyonds. I wouldn't mind. Whoa, saucy mailman! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Y'all get some hype in the chat. For the sauciest mailman. Thank you so much. We are desperate in game. Ooh. That's the card. That's the card. That could be it. Come on, let's cross our fingers. Is there like any reason to wait on this? We just just go ahead and do it, right? Don't really see any reason to wait. I mean, we get like a block in. Let's go. Before they gain all this life. No.
All right, so they go to five. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of things they could have. I'm not saying it was like the a perfect plan, but it was my plan. It wasn't a foolproof plan. What? Wait. Oh, so I guess that doesn't heal. Yeah, you don't heal off atrocity. The, the creature doesn't do the damage from the atrocity. The atrocity is doing the damage. Sweet. Wait, what happened? That was weird. I must have accidentally clicked the cancel. Whenever I clicked back over on the screen, I must have clicked cancel. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two and one. It wasn't a foolproof plan, but it worked. <laughs> that's that's true, Laxon. So like yeah, I probably shouldn't. Have, I probably should have waited till combat because maybe they play another thing pre-combat that they use more mana before attacking, um, and that you know then maybe they don't have the mana for like maybe they were had maybe they had grasp or withering whale or something like that. Callista. So I don't really want to use vile feast on the two one because two ones get cleaned up by withering whale. I'd rather use it on a two toughness thing. Where then we can pair that with the Withering Whale. Nope. People across the street are low in the yard, and so Harvey may start barking. It sounds like a weed eater. Whatever it is, it is loud. Rowdy, loud, and proud. So we're telling our opponent that I have Withering Whale by, by doing that. Um, they could have another one drop. Um, but I don't want, I don't want them to attack and turn those things into four toughness things, four power things. Well, that is another one drop. I'll just block. I think, I think we have more Calist, I think we're okay with having a Calist to die. I think we're okay. I think. You never know, though. The party has arrived. Get him, Clista. Get him. Oh no. Ugh. Oh, it is a great day Dang. Will they stop playing good stuff?
Dang. Huh. What to do, what to do? Take eight, go to seven. Like I could go like this and take eight, go to seven. Or I'm taking five, going to ten, and I'm drawing to. The Undying just can't block. So, like, it doesn't even really. I don't think it makes that much sense to play the Undying because it can't block. That's a good draw. Planning on Grasp, like planning Grasp on Draven. Still fine though. Just a couple a little spider. Just a couple spiders. This Wraith Caller is a great draw, obviously, with my Chronicler of Ruins. That was a great draw. Yeah, we are looking good now. This is the aggressive line, or I sit back and be defensive. Another very good draw. Kill those, kill those, and now we'll have these trade. And then we'll attack him for 19. That should be game. All right, three and one. We had some good draws there. GG's. Man, it's just, it's just so tough. Even the deck with like the Undyings, you know, like you're the aggro deck, can't get get through that deck. It's just so tough playing aggro these days. So tough. All right, what are we playing against here? Karina Control. So I'm certainly keeping the Undyings. Do I keep Vengeance? Nah. I hope, basically, you know, this deck is like, you know, it's half and half. They have like half spider aggro mm -hmm. stuff and then half 
Um, you know, like super control, kill all your things, uh, wrath, and sit back, and then Ledros kind of thing. And I, I hope they're the second half of just like the, the kill all your stuff, because then I'll have the Undyings. But if they're like the spider aggro, like if they're like turn two Elise, you know, Brood Awakening, Undying doesn't beat that. What's up, Conte? I think instead of playing Vile Feast on that thing, I like saving the mana and going Glimpse Beyond. Not when they're going to waste that mana anyway. Let's We'll save that Glimpse Beyond still. Yeah, I'm doing great. Please, I have connections. We're getting closer and closer to the new set. And I can't wait. All right. All right, Withering Whale will clean those up. New cards. Uh, no, we're not. No, we're not really a control deck. We're more of like a mid-range deck. But um, there's only one atrocity that I'm that I'm playing. Um, you know we, you know we have like mist rates and wraith callers and Callistas and Thrash. And that kind of stuff. So, like, we're like Shadow Isles, good value stuff, basically. So we have good attackers. Oh no, we missed! There's only. There's the three they who endure. Uh. Yes, yeah, so that we have three. Um, do you know how tempting it is to just pass? But I really shouldn't. Yes, yeah, so you have the three. They who endure. Um, those are the only Freljord cards we have. Everything else is Shadow Isle, so we know we have a They Who Endure on top. I wouldn't have minded if they Ruinationed. Would have been okay with it. My dogs are getting a little bit better at not barking. You know, like, Harvey lets out, like, a little bark there, and she immediately looks right up at me with those puppy dog eyes of, like, I'm sorry. Alright, so anyway, you took a look at the new cards previously. Uh, you're only interested in Swain. I was like, hold up, Shadow House Control with Maokai? Heck yeah. 
Yeah, Maokai get rid of their get rid of their library. Harvey is one of the names of the dog in Animal Crossing. He's a hippie. I didn't know that. <laughs> Originally named Harvey uh, probably six, seven years ago now. After Harvey Specter on Suits. You're excited for Lee Sin? Okay. I'm excited for all of them. I'm excited for a new region with Bilgewater. That's going to be really interesting, like, adding Bilgewater to everything. Um, Alright, so I'm going to Vengeance this thing. Some one short of playing Behu in there also. I wanted to lose the 10 life first before playing this. Get rid of their blocker. Let's go. So they did not have the turn to Elise this game, which I'm very happy about. All right. Endure Undying, four and one. This is a good solid deck. And, you know, so it has those anti-aggro um, aspects and elements that we saw it you know, that previous game. I'm sure those Withering Whales were pretty clutch. We did draw both Withering Whales and the Grasp against the aggro deck, so I have to say that was pretty lucky in that respect, but also we did draw two of the three Undyings, like the card that we don't want at all, so a little unlucky in that respect. But, um, yeah, this is just a good, solid deck. Um, I r really like the Mist Wraiths and the Wraith Caller. Like, Wraith Caller looked really, really good, especially with... Um, Wraith Caller with Chronicler of Ruin. It was kind of weird that we didn't have very much like Cursed Keeper or Undying to go with Chronicler of Ruin. So we we're like looking for something else to Chronicler and Wraith Caller was looking good. We had Callista bringing back Wraith Caller was really cool. Um, just a pretty solid deck. I wouldn't mind like another Atrocity. I wouldn't mind playing two Atrocities in this deck. Maybe instead of three, they who endure. Maybe just two They Who Endure and then two Atrocity. Because They Who Endure is just also like another late game card like we already have. And Atrocity is kind of there also. And of course, the the more Shadow Isles, the better, right? Like missing on Wraith Caller because you have They Who Endure is a... That's a sad face. So maybe change it to two Atrocity, two They Who Endure. But this is a good one. This is a good one. Well, it has, um, yeah, a lot of good stuff. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Let me know from, maybe from like the new cards and the new set, let me know what you're all hyped about. Um, you know, what, what kind of cards do you, like which champions and stuff do you want me to craft right away and start playing right away? Um, where we're at, because I won't have like three of every single champion right away. I'll, I'll have almost, I guess after like this weekly vault, we'll have you know, like 40,000 shards to start crafting stuff. But I won't have, you know, every single, you know, three of every single card from the new set week one. So y'all leave those comments. Let me know what you want me to, what kind of decks you want me to make. All right, but that's it here for Endure Undying. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.